Hey, what's up? David Glenn for DavidGlennRecording.com, TheProAudioFiles.com, and the new TheMixAcademy.com. Today, we are going to talk about creating some space for the vocal in a mix and push down some music a little bit and uh, and how to open up the music once the vocal is not, uh, no longer singing, no longer in the mix. Uh, very simply, we're going to use Waves Factory Track Spacer to accomplish this. And, uh, and the simple send. So we're going to go load track spacer. I'm going to show you how to set it up. And then we're going to bring this in. We need to give it a bus. We're going to go come down here and just pick an empty bus. Bus 30 should work. And then I'm going to go to my music. Let's see all vocals here. You could go to your lead vocal if you wanted to. I'm going to, yeah, let's do it from the lead. We're going to send bus 30 it's going to be in bank b here there we go bus 30 come over here to the right i'm going to throw that up now that lead vocal is side chained it's sending into the waves factory track spacer so when i hit play and the vocal is on you're going to see uh, some action coming in here i'm going to actually turn it all the way down that movement is the that movement is the vocal. So now what what happens? I'm gonna take uh, the uh, the filters on the left and right here. This is the lows. I'm gonna bring the low pass all the way up to say somewhere like 800 or so, maybe a little higher, maybe eight nine hundred. Sure. And then the highs I'm gonna come down a little bit to around two and a half k, two point five somewhere in there. Now I've set that range. Whenever I hit play and I drag the ratio up, it's going to reduce the music in that frequency range, almost like side chain compression, but it's different. It's going to push down that frequency range of the music when the vocal is active, when the vocal is singing. So uh, let's take a listen. Okay, it sounded horrible, right? But you heard it working. So that's the point of this exercise. I want you to hear it actually working. So let's listen one more time. Here's all the way in pretty much. And then the, that frequency range comes back to the music whenever the vocalist is done. Okay, so that's the extreme. That's just me showing you how it's working. Now, in between, you heard that it was coming back. The music was coming back a little bit um, in between, kind of quickly. Take a listen to that. So those little, I'm just kind of opening up that filter. Well, what I want to do to control that is, uh, is I want to work with the attack and the release. So I'm going to set the attack I like. It's kind of, uh, it's working for me, but I'm going to drag that release a little bit back. And let's take a listen and see if we still get some of that uh, pumping. Okay, now uh, there's less of it, but I still feel like we can tighten up the release a little bit uh, or extend the release so that when the vocalist disappears, the music doesn't just all of a sudden come back and be full spectrum again. So I'm going to push this release back and let's go to... Um, whoop. I'm using my trackpad here. It looks like you can control that parameter. Okay, up here, the vocalist. Let's find where he's done with that last note, and the music is coming in. Okay, so it's coming in. I want that to come in in time. I want it to be kind of a smooth, almost a, uh, a crescendo back to the frequency spectrum. So I'm going to push it back a little bit, a little bit longer. Okay, it's a little bit slower, but that I kind of like that. I want it to be subtle. I want it to be gradual. So now this ratio that we've jacked up, I've jacked it up to help us find the uh, the settings that we like. And then you can use this in mid-side mode, by the way. This would probably be uh, appropriate, so it's only affecting that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Maybe pull it back a little bit just so it 
comes in just a nudge quicker. Okay. I'm going to drag this all the way down. Now I'm going to listen to it without it. Cool. It's that vocal. Now that we've heard it the other way, it's kind of like, man, we need a little more space there. So let's try to gain some space for the vocalist. And we're just going to drag that up a little bit as he's singing. I'm going to boost it a little bit so we hear it. Okay, so that's probably still too much, but depending upon the song you're working on, uh, that may be perfect. It may be kind of cool to have that as an effect. Uh, you could use this for kicks and bass. You can use this for um, you know, certain guitars that you want. You want the, maybe the electrics to push the acoustics down or the piano to push the, the electric guitars down when the piano is coming in. All kinds of things that you can use this on. Uh, this is just one example, and uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more... Um, useful to us back down a little bit more subtle in this particular mix but you get the point you get the idea hopefully that helps you set it up if you dig it go check out the waves factory track spacer and uh feel free to write me david at davidglenrecording.com we've got the new site themixacademy.com i'm going to take and uh, mix a song start to finish right in front of you i'm going to record the entire process it's three four five hours long this is a, uh, a private form you're going to get the files you're going to mix it yourself it's going on your resume all kinds of great stuff with it. Right now, if you sign up, I'm offering an exclusive uh, premium tutorial included with your membership. So one of my three training courses, you get to pick one of those. And uh, if you tell me from this video that you got uh, got worried about the Mix Academy from the Pro Audio Files YouTube channel, I'm going to actually toss in an extra surprise for, uh, for just you. So check that out, themixacademy.com. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Hopefully that'll help us to continue to bring you great content. And we will catch you on the next one.